Johnny Fontana, Real World INFJ, back with another video. Today's gonna be a story time. Now, before we get started, two things. Don't mind the t-shirt. See, that's how you know I'm getting comfortable with you, right? Because I get on here. It's not cool. Listen, I don't do this often, but I needed to really get this out because it was in my mind. And uh, I just said, you know what? Let me come out and do this video real quick so I didn't get a chance to iron my uh, threads, as it would say. And the second thing, I have this annoying cricket here. So I need you to power through, forget about the cricket, forget about Jimmy, focus on me. All right, so today's gonna be good story time. Shall we begin? Let's go. So, <clears throat> happened today. Today we're discussing on how to share your FE wealth, right? And you probably wonder, what the heck is that? Like, are you going around like being FE on everyone and just throwing your FE at everyone? No, 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 no. <sighs> I'm not going to go too much into detail into my next video, which is going to be discussing my theory. I have a working theory, okay? Quarter nine percent. Okay, quarter nine percent means that I'm starting to pick something up, but I just need to do some research. I am now working on a theory that there are three types of parent INFJs. What I mean by parent INFJs, those who are more productive, those who are more, you know, so I'm saying to you, uh, out there in terms of, you know what I'm saying, uh, delivering content, uh, being productive in life, right? As opposed to those who are just sort of recluse and don't really get involved in social dynamics, get involved in other things, right? So um, there are three types, and uh, I'll, I'll explain to you in another video. It's gonna be very important. But that being said, I'm one of the types, okay? So with that being said, and what comes along with that being that type, that I'm not always, I don't always seem like someone who's approachable. That's why I'm not one of those who's like, oh, I attract, I'm a magnet for like, you know, the depressed or for the anxious, right? Because I don't get that. However, something happened to me today and I, and I was made aware of it, just on my own. So I want to share this with you. So, you know, like I tell you, I, I'm in a position, position where um, because of my, my previous military background, I've, I, I have a job in the military where working for the military where I um, sort of provide a certain level of leadership, right? We have different divisions, different sections. Um, and so therefore I have an obligation, right? To sort of provide uh, the grooming, cultivation, leadership, and, and play a certain role, right, when it comes to uh, my subordinates, right, and, and my employees. So, and so it's very team-like, it's very paramilitary. Um, you have a lot of team leaders, team building, and so forth, right, you have different groups who work together. So, as a leader, you know, not only am I responsible for the day-to-day -day operations, but I'm also day uh, responsible for, you know, personal development, uh, personal issues, dealing with that, addressing certain issues, helping people out, right? Just, that's what we do, right? Um, not just on one, one scale. So this individual who was uh, working at a different branch, um, she, she was my, she was, she was my trainee and she went to a di di different branch, now she's back. So now she's gonna be under me now. And so I stepped up to her today because, you know, she'd been back for a couple of weeks, but I, I didn't make any connections, even though I knew that she was under me. You know, I sort of, I had so much going on, but I knew in the back of my mind, hey, I need to make contact with her. I need to get stuff going. So today I made contact with her and I was like, hey, listen, here's, here's the deal, right? Um, I, I need, we need to talk to you. Let me know where you are. 
of what you've been doing, what your goals are, you know, how can we, you know, help you, you know, if you want to move to different agencies, different departments, different, even within this department, different divisions and so forth and so on. Um, so she quickly was like, yeah, 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 you know, she talked about certain issues with her medical issues, having different appointments, whatever. And she also discussed her personal issues. And she says, yeah, you know, I was going to text you because I want to talk to you. Um, you know, talk to you about some personal issues that I've been having. And you know, me, it's like, whenever you say, oh, I got some personal issues that I want to talk to you. Unlike other people that are like, oh, oh man. My eyes light up. I'm like, oh, really? Now that gives me an opportunity to get prepared and, you know, start giving my advice and so forth and so on. That's just me. Like, I like to, to do that. I like to groom and cultivate and, and, and provide guidance. That thing is so annoying. But you got to stay focused. Hey, you know what? Consider this, I don't know, training, evolution, right? Where you got to stay focused on my, on, on me, on my voice what I'm delivering and void yourself of thinking of Jimmy. Jimmy, be quiet! Jimmy's not listening. <laughs> anyway, then, see, we're having fun. We are having fun. Yes, I have a little liquor in me. By the way, some people have asked me, hey, what do you drink when you do your, your, your videos? I actually drink tequila. Uh, it's uh, Jose Cuevo, gold. Um, I don't drink anything else, okay? And I think we'll do a video on actually how al alcohol affects different people. Um, I'm not losing my thought, by the way. Um, I only drink tequila because it, it provides me an over, overly state of well-being. As opposed to whiskey base or, or rum base, I become, they give me more of a heady um, feeling, sensation. Um, where I can't function, right? I become dreary. I become when I drink rum based or whiskey rum based. I become more emotional. You know, I become like, oh, I love you. I miss you. We haven't seen each other in such a long time. I can't believe that I haven't, you know, reached out, reached out, reached out, reached out to you. Um, it's a disaster, especially around family. Oh, I can't. We need to be closer. And uh, no. so tequila sort of opens my mind. Gives me an overly sense of well-being, allows me to discuss certain things, be open, allows my mind to be a little bit more fluid, open, right? Um, and also, with me, as it pertains to alcohol, um, or even any kind of, you know, uh, um, foreign substance that I take, even caffeine, or when I used to, when I used to smoke marijuana, um, my body, because since we're in, internal, we live inside of us. If I drink too much, I start to get panicky. I get anxious because I'm claustrophobic as well. And uh, most of you won't even we won't most of you won't even remember that I said that. Um, but I get panicky, start to feel anxious, and that's when I'm like, okay, I need to stop. You know, I'm like, okay, maybe I should sleep it off. Maybe I should do that. So that's what's thing with intuitives like real true intuitives like when we start drinking too much whatever like it's not to the point where we just go and we forget about everything else it's like yo like i know exactly what's happening inside of me like i cannot deal with this just and that's why when i used to smoke marijuana i used to be very specific in what i smoke like that's why i was like there was this thing of of uh of um Marijuana etiquette, it's called like used to have used like because you know people when I was living in Florida people used to come in and You know, we just have gatherings whatever and people from Florida, uh, from New York They would come and they would they would hide their their marijuana and they would bring it and It's like bro, like do you understand what kind of Jimmy's gone? Oh, he's been quiet for a minute. Like do you understand like You gotta have proper <laughs> Etiquette. It's like don't give us some stuff that's just gonna make us like you know, go you know go crazy. Like I would still I still want to be a function, and sure enough, every time these guys would come in, they'd give you some stuff, and people would be blasted, and we'd never be able to go out. Um, and so when I used to indulge and engage in in marijuana, I would always make sure that I got the type that 
you know, gave me that overly sense of well-being, allowed me to be open. I would, you know, my mind would race, sort of like caffeine, sort of like um, alcohol. Uh, it gives me that sense of like well-being, like, hey, let's do this, let's get together, you know, let's have a conversation. I, I opened up my own business because I was under the influence of, of marijuana. Um, yeah, because I had all these ideas flowing and I'm like, hey, let's, let's do this, let's get that, you know. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, because of, of, of who the type of, pre, type of people we are, um, that type of INFJ, we're not so approachable, right? So people may look at us and be like, oh, he, he looks kind of mean, but really like deep inside, like, hey, listen, come talk to me. Like, I will be the first person to say, hey, listen, I got you, right? Because I've learned this through, again, being in the military, being in law enforcement, having different experiences. You call me at three o'clock in the morning, I'm there. I'm not even gonna question you. Why are you calling me late at night? Or, you know, oh, this person, my first thing is go. Pick up that person, ask questions later. You see what I'm saying to you? Um, so that's why I'm thankful for that. And then we'll, you'll understand what that INFJ type is, right? I wanna tell you so bad, but I'm gonna wait for the next video. Cause there are three types. And I'm and I'm the 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 middle type. So interesting. I just it's like an aha moment. But oh, I don't want to give it up. So anyway, so we I was discussing with her, and I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, listen, you know, you want to discuss issues, personal issues. She's having she's having she's having personal issues at home as well. She mentioned that. So she says, hey, I said, anytime. I said, you want to do you want to go to Starbucks or tomorrow morning? Come to my office. We'll discuss this. Whatever. Now here's where the, the whole sharing of wealth comes, sharing of, of the FE comes in. There's this other person who's been having a hard time. She's not under me, she's with a different division. But I see her often and I used to speak to her before, but she's been going through like a rash or just like, just she's been going through some stuff. Like she was building a house out here in Vegas and last minute the uh, the builders or the, the, um, the, the, the mortgage company decided that they were gonna sell it to someone else who was paying cash for it. I mean, so like one thing after another. And every time I see her, you know, I can tell she's looking at me for some reason. I don't know what it is, but because she knows that I've always been the one to say hi and approach her. And when a lot of people have sort of given up on her just because she's gone through so many stuff, but whether it be financial, whether it be just, you know, uh, um, issues dealing with work, um, her own surgeries, you know, who, that that's put her out of whatever. So it's been very difficult for her. And so I saw her as I was speaking to to my person, to, to my employee, uh, I saw that she came back, she sat right next to it, right next, right next down. And it's one of those feelings like, it's kind of hard to explain. What do you mean it's hard to explain? Like, like I'm talking, I'm acting like I'm talking to like other people. You know exactly what I mean. See, that's the best thing about talking to INFJs because you know, like I don't have to like, oh, it's hard to explain. Like, you know exactly what I mean. Obviously, you know, it's a little alcohol talking. That's why I'm a little bit more, you know, what have you. Um, a little bit more loose, right? That's, I'm just giving you, you know, just being observant of that. Um, I'm not losing my, my thought. And that's the alcohol, it helps me not lose my, lose my train of thought. So, um, I was sitting there and she came and I can sense that she wanted to talk. She wanted to say something, but she's not gonna just open up and just say it. You know, because she saw me speaking to the other one and she heard the conversation and she heard me saying, hey, you want to go to Starbucks tonight? You know, we'll have a conversation. Any, I told her, anytime you want to have a conversation, anytime you're feeling whatever, just call me. I will be there. Don't ever feel that I would never neglect you, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying to you? And she heard that. And I can sense, and that's that feeling of like, even though I'm talking to her, but because, as I said before, I have a wise subconscious stance. It has nothing to do with me. I lose my keys all the time. I forget stuff, like I forget my keys and my ignition. I forget my wallet and my car all the time. I forget my phone, I forget where I put stuff all the time. 
all my important paperwork, my social security card, my birth certificate, I don't even know where that stuff is. My wife is the one who takes care of it. But when it comes to like energies beyond me, like I feel it. So as I was speaking and I, I can sense that she was, and it's not one of those things where I'm like, oh, I'm just an INFJ, so therefore, you know, I'm perpetrating that that sort of, uh, you know, FE, you know, sensation or the, the whatever. I'm not an intellect. I don't speak clinical, you know, so sorry if I'm making a mistake, uh, which is the other INFJ. Like, I'm so glad, like, I'm actually, because this is the real world. Because you have me time and you have the academic. But I don't want to give that away because, and that's why I'm so apologetic because I'm like, man, I, I've been like killing people and like being so upset. I'm like, why are you like this? Why are you like that? I'm not, I'm not losing my space. Like, why are you like this? Why are you like that? Right? And I like, and I had an aha moment yesterday. I'm like, oh, there are different types of I understand. The, the, the three parents, the academics. I'm not going to say what I am. And then there's the, so when you come across a lot of the academics with the whiteboards and they all they do is co cognitive functions, they're not really social, they don't really understand social dynamics like my type, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say the name, you have those who are very, you know, it doesn't matter their depressive state or if they suffer from anxiety, but they're very intelligent. They can recall certain things and cognitive function and this and very scientific, whatever. Those are the academics. But we all need each other. All three of us, we all we all need each other. But anyway, so that's how I felt. I was like, hey, I felt she needs to talk. I just, it's just one of those things, bro. I, it's kind of hard to explain because it's like I'm talking to INFJs because I'm not talking to anyone else. That's why, like my, even though my mind is wide, my subconscious lens is wide, but I'm focused on the INFJs because I'm not talking to any other groups and even if other people are watching that's I'm not really and I'm sorry again I'm not trying to offend you but I'm not really talking to you I'm talking to the INFJs because they understand me and I hate when people talk to other people and not talk to the INFJs and I really hate when you have people who are not INFJs trying to explain and give advice to INFJs as if they know I'm gonna I have a video on Brian Chambers. Woosa. <sighs> now you know I'm for real, bro. Now you know I'm for real. That's that protective in me. That's that protective in me. But anyway, let's go. So I felt it. So I started talking to her. And that's when I got the information about how she told me about uh, she had a house and then, you know, the, the, the mortgage company decided to go somewhere. Oh, I got all that in five minutes. She just laid, 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 laid because I knew she wanted it. And she told me how she's, she's going to be going to another um, uh, division. Uh, I forget where, I think on, 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 on the East Coast, whatever. And I said to her, I said, you need to go because I don't think that this place, this environment, is doing you justice. It's not doing you service. I said, a lot of things that, because of my position, I can't speak to you about, but because I understand, you need to leave. And you need to be able to find yourself. And she was like, I totally agree. I totally agree. Again, it's like, as the intuitives, the FE, you know, you want to be potty mouth, you want to discuss everything, and you want to be like, I relate to you, here's what I know, and just lay it, and lay it, and lay it, and have that good conversation, and you know, but as someone who's, you know, in, in a, one of these positions, you got to be careful, you know, how you address certain things. Um, but that's it, man, so just recapping, share, and this is not personal development. This is just something that for me, I'm telling you um, as someone who just experienced it today, um, but I was thinking about it and I was like, hey, I'm gonna give you know a video and share with, with you know my hundred subscribers, right? Again, hundred subscribers is a lot of people, bro. Like, trust me. And I know within those hundred subscribers, not everyone comes back. So maybe even 15, 10 people who are watching this 
I'm okay. But again, like we're part of the one percent. I'm not expecting a thousand, four thousand people to be watching my stuff. You see what I'm saying to you? Like I'm expecting like 20, 30, 40 people, the max, to be watching. That's why people don't understand. The reason why I don't get in the comments is because I don't want to muddy it up. People don't realize that. I don't want to muddy it up. Because I know the deal when it comes to mistypes and everything else. It's not their fault. But I want to keep it like this for the few, the proud. The INFJs. So share that wealth. When you feel someone that's wanting it, especially if, if you're the type in the middle, I'll say it. When you're the field operatives, the ones who take it for the team, the ones who are just going out there, you're curious, and you're not afraid, but you always have your internal values, right? You know, you're sensitive, you're empathetic, you're aware, you're a loner, but sometimes you just gotta just forego your personality just to sort of like quench your, your curiosity so you can start connecting dots. That's, that's who you are. You're the field operator. You got the academics, and you got the spiritualities, right? Those who are into the symbolic evolutions of life, okay? You have the academic types. You have the field operators. We're the ones who take one for the team. We're the ones who go out there. We're the specialists. We're the ones who are we make good use of our FE and our SE because we understand, right, the structural surroundings, okay, the landscape, and the FE with people. We're not as good as TI as the academics, and we're not as good as NI, you know, the spiritual inner outer worlds and have lucid dreams. You know, we're not as prophetic as the spiritual types, but we're the ones who go in. But guess what? We're the ones in the middle who we get that information. So when we start thinking these things, we go to the prophetics. Hey, what do you think about this? We go to the scientists. What do you think about this? And then we come to, to our terms and we deliver it. We don't deliver it so clinically divine or clinically, you know, as the academics. We're not so spiritual and, and new symbols as these. We just, we're rugged. We just give it to you raw. Those are the field operators. So share your FE, whoever you are, whether you be academic, you know, you're spiritual, whether you feel operative, share your FE. If you see something, say something. If you feel something, say something. The SE, if you see it, say something. If you feel it, the FE, say something. I said it before my video. Johnny Fontana, Real World INFJ. We out.